Good day and welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath. And in this episode, we are talking about some very sweet new arrivals from Umbrella Entertainment. Looks like they're going in a bold new direction, and I think it's really, really cool. Before we go any further, I do want to say that, uh, remember, wherever you are in the world, if you're shopping at the Umbrella Entertainment website, as you should, in fact, a lot of the stuff that we're going to talk about, you can only get through the Umbrella Entertainment website. Uh, remember to use code SERIAL15 to save 15% on your order. That lets them know that you saw this coverage, that you then went and looked on their site and picked up some stuff. It's good for me. It's good for you guys. It's good for Umbrella. As the collector market continues to evolve and adapt and change into different things, I think it's more and more important that we support companies directly through their website. It's not just Umbrella Entertainment. I'm seeing it with pretty much everybody that I cover. They'd rather you go through, cuts out, you know, all the problems that can happen with distribution in between. Uh, and so as an incentive for that, there's a lot of cool things here that are really only going to be at the Umbrella Entertainment website. I say bold new direction. Let's talk about these two releases. So these are part of a new line of slipcover limited editions. How, you know what? I'm going to start with the limey. So... First of all, this slipcover is limited. It is a gorgeous, here, pull this away. It is a gorgeous slipcover for the Limey. I love this quote on the back. I've done a full review for this film. Uh, I adore this film. This is Steven Soderbergh. Uh, after Out of Sight, before Aaron Brockovich, it's kind of a lost movie. It didn't do a ton of box office and it kind of fell off the radar and here it is all these years later just now getting the attention and the love that it deserves but this slipcover edition is limited to 250 it is numbered and limited to 250 units at the umbrella entertainment website so my understanding is you don't walk into jb hi-fi and this is looking at you now you might walk into jb hi-fi and this is looking at you but, you know, more and more companies are using slipcovers. I think this is transparent, right? More and more companies are using slipcovers as an incentive for you to order through them. It's a bonus for the people that pre-order. How many times, how many, how many companies have to tell us that pre-orders support, like, that's what drives business. Um, so, I th did you guys get a good look at this? I really want to make sure that I'm showcasing this to the to the fullest extent that I'm capable of. I think it's beautiful. The J card is, you know, of course, removable. Uh, we're gonna talk about the on-disc contents in a second, but I wanna, like, this art is beautiful, but you know what's even more beautiful? There is reversible art here that I want on a poster. I'm flipping this around. This is how this will be displayed for me. It is a, re it's not a recreation because this never existed. It's a creation a mock-up of a Dell mid-century paperback cover in which Terrence Stamp's character is the main character of the, this is absolutely stunning to me and it even the back continues the paperback theme so I want this on a poster so bad like I don't have a whole lot of room for posters but if this was on one I mean this is this is what Serial at Midnight is you know this is my jam so Let's talk about the actual on-disc features here because there's a lot of cool things. You know, um, Lionsgate recently put this out in the United States on 4K, and it's a Best Buy exclusive. You can only, it's a steelbook right now, and you can only get it at Best Buy, and it might even be sold out now, honestly. But it ha it, that, that release has two commentaries and an isolated score. This release is loaded. Uh, audio commentary with Steven Soderbergh and the other commentary. So it's got the two commentaries uh, with everybody, pretty much everybody involved in the movie. It's if you've seen my review, which I'll link to, but if you've seen my review of the my actual film review for uh, for the Limey, like Soderbergh, they, 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 like there's an argument on the commentary. It's really interesting. Maybe that's why now commentaries say the views ex and opinions expressed in this commentary do not reflect the views of this the parent company, the studio. Uh, so it's got it's got the two commentaries. It's got the isolated music score, right? So now we're we're one and one. Let's go past that. So it has archival interviews with the cast and the crew. That's great. It's the official electronic press kit stuff, the original stuff from 1999, where they talk to Terrence Stamp and they talk to Leslie Ann Warren. This is this B roll. It's like seven minutes of B. I think it's seven minutes B roll footage. Uh, the 20th anniversary Q and A with Steven Soderbergh. Stars Leslie Ann Warren, Luis Guzman, the editor, the cinematographer. 
that's like 50 minutes long, and it is fascinating. Um, Welcome to Violence, the Evolution of the British Gangster on Screen. That's a video essay by film scholar Andrew Nett. Uh, incredible stuff. Like, lots of extra things on this release. So if you don't have this, if you don't have the Limey already, uh, or even if you do, this is absolutely loaded and I think this slip cover is gorgeous now let's talk about oh where should I put this I'm gonna put these behind can you guys still see all the exploitation classics over here if I move this yeah put that right there here's the other one that's leading the charge here this is their new uh, their new blu-ray for wrong turn hey by the way you know what I should have said at the beginning of this episode every single thing here that we're gonna talk about regardless of what it's Regardless of what the region code says it is, played perfectly fine in my region A locked player. There's even a bonus disc DVD in here that played for me as well. So they do not appear to have locked anything. Uh, but this is the wrong turn limited edition. It is limited to 400 slipcovers. These are probably gone. I, you know, actually, I, did, I don't think I checked, or maybe I did check and I just can't remember. Uh, so if they are gone, this is a good example of like getting in for the next few. You're like, you know, and hey, you can use the coupon code serial15 to get 15% off of your pre-order because that's pre-orders run the game. They really are what drives the business. <sighs> Let me expand on that really quick. More people will pre-order. The studios get most of their business in the pre-order and the, the very new release phase. When movies become catalog titles, activity can often die off. It's so important to support things early to the release when you can. So they're giving us incentive to do that, right? That's, I think transparency is important. That's why, that's why this happens. So, all right, here we go. Beautiful artwork with Eliza Dushku. Here's the reverse. And this is really loaded too. This has a lot of new stuff, a couple of new things here. Uh, Beware the Woods, the history of rural, rural, it's a hard word to say, rural horror, a video essay by author and film historian Lee Gambin, who always knows this stuff. He always comes super prepared. So that's new. Further reading, a rural horror, rur, rural horror trailer compilation. It's like 45 minutes of rural horror trailers. Um, audio commentary with the director, uh, these are carrying over, and then like the little making of fresh meat. Deleted scenes, the making of wrong turn, Babe in the Woods, Eliza Dushku, Stan Winston featurette. So here, get this. And uh, here's the, you know, just the Blu-ray itself. And it has, I want to shout this out because this is important, underneath the disc are production notes. So I don't, I think this is great. I think this is really cool. And I like this. You know, I think Umbrella's been experimenting. We've talked so much about their recent releases. Some of them are coming with stickers and pewter goods and 3D glasses, all sorts of things. I think this is a great direction because fans want slipcovers, right? What here? This is the better question. What do you guys think about this? Do you want slipcovers? Also, uh, on the slipcover tip, there are three new bonuses that are. These are site exclusives. Uh, these are the Good Day of the Dead. Limited edition slipcovers that are only available from their site. I believe they're all sold out at this point. But again, you always have to look at Umbrella Entertainment's website to see what's coming. Pre-order, Serial 15, so you don't miss any of this stuff. For $20 Australian and $14 US, because that's sometimes people in the US see the Australian dollar. you got to convert to your currency. $20 Australian, $14 US. You get the slipcover and a daybill poster. The movie is not included, to my understanding. It's just the slipcover. So they're riffs on exploitation classics. So this is uh, Crocodile Dundee for Day of the Dead. I think it's gorgeous. And of course, the disc inside, what the the release inside is. These have been out for a while. These are catalog titles that are being freshened up with new bonuses. I think they're really cool. Uh, this is the Day of the Dead Blu-ray, which also has a, a, well here, so you've got Day of the Dead on Blu-ray, a bonus DVD with over three hours of additional standard definition special features. So there's a lot of stuff. The, the Blu-ray has the, it's like a 90 minute documentary, absolutely loaded with stuff. Here, I'll read it, freeze it, <laughs> check it out. Uh, so, okay, so Day of the Dead, oh, hold on, I gotta get stuff. Let's see. I have a lot of Daybill posters scattered around. So this is the poster. So you get this slipcover and this Daybill poster for $20 Australian. Again, you're not walking into JB Hi-Fi and seeing this. This is a site exclusive. 
I'm going to put this back on really quick while we chit chat. The next one, uh, which direction should I go here? Let's do this one. This is Hellraiser with a turkey shoot treatment. Brian Trichard Smith. The slipcover is really, really cool. I like the... Um, I, I just think it's really, really well done. Here's the... <laughs> it's hard to do these because they're so big. All right. Okay. Put that down there. Reassemble Hellraiser. And... Uh, last but not least is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre given a, what is the Australian title? I think this movie is Outback in the U.S., but it's Wake in Fright or Wake of Fright. I, it's one of those. Um, but it's, I love it. This is probably one of my favorite horror movies. I love this movie every time I watch it. it like, you, it influenced so much. And it's really funny. I know some people are like, I, I've said that before. I'm like, there's a lot of funny things in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And people are like, that's sick. And then I saw making a feature with uh, Toby Hooper, and he's like, you know, there's a lot of things in there that I put in there to be funny. And I was like, yes. So here is the Daybill poster. All right. So I've I've given you the information, right? It's twenty dollars Australian and fourteen dollars. That converts to fourteen dollars U.S. and uh, Umbrella Entertainment's website. Link in the description of this video. Serial 15, right? We have another entry in the Osploitation Classics line. This is number uh, 20. It's a double feature. Night of, uh, In of the Damned, In of the Damned, and Night of Fear. This comes from, uh, what do they say? It's the, a double shock of undiluted terror and suspense from Maverick Osploitation auteur Terry Bork. And there's a lot of a lot of new special features, so I'm just going to let you guys read these rather than try to read everything to you. And I can't show you everything here because it's not all YouTube safe. But that's the two films and Daybill Poster Incentive, right? It looks really good. So uh, we're almost done here. Oh, hold on. Let me slot this into place. All 20 complete lines so far of Osploitation Classics. Last but certainly not least, they have just reissued, or not issued, was well, a six-shooter classic that's been given the Blu-ray upgrade. Young Guns. I love this movie. Uh, a while back, a year or two ago, we talked about Young Guns 2 from Umbrella Entertainment. So now we have Young Guns 1. Hey, it's got Terrence Stamp in it. Uh, so that's two Terrence Stamp movies in this video. I love this, but this is probably one of the reasons that I have always kind of loved the Westerns because this was, you know, a really big deal. These two movies actually were both really big deals for me in the late 80s, early 90s. And um, sort of the Brat Pack meets the Wild Bunts kind of a thing. There's nothing uh, that is new here that's not on other releases, but the, the major point here is that Australia now has Young Guns in their own territory. So you can just walk in and you know you, you can buy this. You can order this on Umbrella's website. So we've got the new Billy the Kid document, the real Billy the Kid documentary, the commentary and the making of Young Guns. Uh, this movie, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I would really like to see both of these films get the 4K treatment because I think they deserve it. These masters look okay. I'm so glad that they're on Blu-ray, but it's time for, you know, can we get some more love for Young Guns? And that's only going to happen if we support things like this, right? That's the message that gets sent to the studios. It's like, oh, people do want Young Guns. Oh, okay. And then they stroke their beards and then they go, let's let's do a 4K scan. That's how it happens. A um, lot of stuff to talk about here. A lot of stuff to, co to continue in the conversation below in the comments. I want to know what you guys think about these slip covers. Here's the question is when it comes to collector incentives, what do you resonate with? Do you resonate with slip covers? I know, I mean, I know a lot of you guys do to the point that some of these, I see studios releasing things with slip covers and the slip covers are going for like $200 on eBay. So, so I know slip covers are really big, especially when they're limited and they're numbered like this. I think that does drive collecting. I think they're beautiful. I love them. I love the artwork. And uh, boy, I wish I had that limey paperback cover as a poster. I'm going to put that out into the universe. Limey paperback poster. Limey paperback poster. Guys, thanks so much. Take care. <laughs> Until next time, I will catch you later.